talking about this, and somehow I missed this one yesterday, but it's all good now. Charlie Kirk was owned. Let's watch. Do you truly in your heart? Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up the audio. The audio, folks. This motherfucker. All right, let's watch. Heart of hearts truly believe that this is a human being. This- Without a doubt. Without a doubt? Yes. This is a dolphin fetus. So let me- Without a doubt, a dolphin fetus so is a human being. This is a human fetus. This is how simple it is. But quite different. Dolphin. You just confirmed that a dolphin- In, in life, you confuse dolphins for human babies often. So let me you ask you You go to SeaWorld and you're like, someone's got human babies in that aquarium. So- I mean, I'm, Charlie Kirk got epic owned. I mean, this is like a classic one. I love, this is one of my favorite ways to tell how stupid someone is. These are the people that, like, the pro life anti abortion motherfuckers are the least scientifically literate people on the planet. I'm telling you this right now. They know nothing about how babies are made, they know nothing about how, like, you know, pregnancies work. They know nothing about what a fetus looks like. They know absolutely fucking nothing, and they just want to use all of this as an excuse to regulate people that they don't like. That's it. They want to have power, and their power fantasies revolve around regulating people's bodies that aren't them. Because they, regulating, they're having their own bodily autonomy, that's not enough. They want autonomy over other people. They love that kind of mindset. And the anti-abortion crowd really is just a perfect fit for them, right? Like, again, this is, like, the whole thing is just... I'm gonna play it again. All right. It's just really funny. Like, it's just, again, if you knew anything about how life works on this planet, you would know, right? You might not be able to sell, tell what kind of fetus it is, but that's the point, is that you can't tell because it's not a human. At six weeks, a human embryo is not a human being. And to treat it as such is stupid. Do you truly, in your heart of hearts truly believe that this is a human being this without a doubt without a doubt yes this is a dolphin fetus so let me without a doubt a dolphin so fetus is a human being this is a human <laughs> fetus. This is how simple it is. but quite different dolphin you just confirmed that a dolphin in in life you confuse dolphins for human babies often so let me you go to sea world and you're like i love how charlie is just like looking he's like as he's getting brutally owned Right, as he's getting brutally destroyed on live television, he's just like... Like, it's amazing. It's really good stuff. Um... So again, I mean, like, again, like the whole thing here is just, it's so funny. Like, I really, <laughs> like... And also, I don't know who Ben Glebe is, but... He sounds awesome. Like, I might subscribe to this guy's show. I love the delivery here. It's really funny. Um, and also, if Charlie Kirk is going on shows to get owned, can I get Charlie Kirk on my show? I wonder if that's possible. But anyway, again, I just wanted to play this clip because it's really funny. And again, you need to know that these pro-life, so-called pro-life dumbass motherfuckers, really all they're about is they want control over, uh, over other people. That's it. That's it. Like, and also, life begins at conception. Why? Why? Why does life begin at conception? Right? If someone masturbates, that that should be illegal. In the same mindset, if something could become a human being, theoretically, you got it's sacred. You got like so you can't masturbate anymore. Sorry, it's just not allowed. Or if you do, you have to do it in some sort of like machine or a tube or something so you can save the life essence. And then also imagine what the impregnation whole like process is. It's just like, it's only one sperm cell that gets in there. What about the other ones? They gotta be, they're sacred. Life is sacred, motherfucker. We gotta like go in there, claw them out and use them for someone else. Right, again, the whole argument is ludicrous. It revolves around nothing that's even scientifically literate. It's just like a giant disaster scenario. And all they want to do is control other people. Plain and simple. Because they're dumb fuck motherfuckers. That's all I've got to say. Also, life isn't sacred. I just want to throw that out there. Life is also just not sacred. Like, just... On, on, like, my personal opinion on top of everything else I just said, 
I don't even, I don't think life is sacred in that sense. Like I, I do personally as a person think life is sacred. I do want to protect the planet, protect species and all that stuff. But I don't think that we should be doing these bizarre things where we're like going out there and saying that all life must be cherished at all times, no matter what. I think that, yeah, life sucks. There's going to be a lot of things that die. But again, I'm pro-life when it comes to animals. I want, I'm pro-elephant, for example. I, I think I think elephant life is more sacred than human life, personally. But I mean, there's a lot of dumb fuck motherfuckers out there that are humans. And I'm gonna be honest, I I'm at a point in my life where I don't value human beings at, at that much. I'm gonna be like, there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers out there. Like I think humans have great potential, but Lord have mercy, man, we're fucking it up.